foot. Work. What up, bitch? Today's bit. Y'all see the title, man. We got a story time. Yes, bitch. We haven't done a story time in like a month. You know what I'm saying? I kind of missed it. And we got a story time about I had to fight a fat dude for the first time. Like, <laughs> like it's kind of weird. Because, like, this shit wasn't even supposed to happen. Like, it, it was just some dumb shit. So, this is how it went down. So, it was Christmas Day. You know what I'm saying? My dad. He bought me like a little moped. Um, how can I? Um, my my little brother got one, so I can I can show you. Hold on, I can show you right now. And this is my little brother's, right? It was some, it was something like this, but bigger. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of windy as fuck, damn. So I used to ride that motherfucker everywhere. I got that shit. I was the happiest man alive, bro. Like, bro, I was going crazy I, every day. I was riding that motherfucker. And niggas used to see me, like, my friends and shit used to see me and, and other people. They used to see me go crazy with that motherfucker because I used to live in, like, some kind of neighborhood. I forgot what it's called, but you know what I'm saying. So it's this one day, bro. My dad always told me not to let nobody ride your bike. Don't let nobody ride your motherfucking bike. I was like, all right, bet. Boom, boom, boom. Me, as a kid, not listening. I should have listened. You see... See, that what happens. Bad karma happens, bruh. Like, I, I don't know why I didn't listen to this man, bruh. So, it was just one day. Uh, niggas was, like, asking to ride my bike and shit. And I was like, go ahead, because it was, it was people I was cool with and shit. And I let someone, like, ride my bike. And it was this bad-ass kid, dog. It was a bad, fat motherfucker, bruh. And he... It was a kid that disrespected his mom. He didn't care none about what anybody say. He was just a bad kid. So the uh, the nigga wrote it because I had a routine. I was my I, I see I listened kinda, but not really, because my dad said don't let nobody ride the bike and shit. But I had a routine. I said y'all can only ride around that motherfucker park. That's it, and come back. That's it. And I guess it was some fat nigga named Marcus, right? The nigga was at the park. And he see, bro. He seen me like, like riding my my bike and shit a couple times. I knew he wanted to say something to me, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was zooming out that motherfucker. So the nigga rode it to the park. The the other dude I let ride the bike. I let him ride to the park and shit. And I guess Marcus was there. It was some kind of conflict. Like that's what the little dude told me. Cause he came back with my shit. I made sure. So the nigga came back. And then I guess Marcus was like, try to like steal that motherfucker. Like he, I, like I said, he was a badass kid. You can like, well, well y'all don't even know. I was finna say y'all can ask one of my friends, but y'all don't know him. What the fuck? The next day came, and I was like, you know what? Let me press Marcus about it, cause he Marcus always like kept looking at me and shit. Like I was like, all right, bet. Let me let me see what he on. So I came up to him. I said some. Yo, why why was you trying to steal my bike and shit? He said, cause I wanted to ride. <laughs> hold on, let me <laughs> hold on, let me let me make a voice for this nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. So I was like, so yo, why was you trying to steal my bike? He said so. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. If I ever acted, I will always be laughing. I cannot do that shit, bro. I said something, so why didn't you ask me? Like, why? Like, nigga, I would've let you write, even though I thought this nigga was gonna break my shit because that nigga was big as hell. He was like, he was like, he, he, he was like some like, like these, like this kind of player build. Like, it was, it was weird. It was weird. So, I asked him, why didn't you ask, nigga? He said, I'm gonna have it. I'm like, have it. <laughs> Now you're bugging, nigga. You're not having my morals. Like, what the fuck? What, what you got going on? So, this nigga started trying to get aggressive with me. He said something. I want it. I want to have it. I'm like, first thing first, pause, nigga. Like, you're bugging. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga tried to, like, start to get aggressive with me. He was trying to, like, steal that motherfucker. I had to, like, I had to do some ninja shit. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I kicked that nigga in his leg, but and I drove off. I was like, all right, bet. I see what type I see what type of time this nigga's on. So I went home, I told my dad, I said some, yo, you know that that uh fat kid across the street from us. He used to he lived across the street from me. 
This nigga, my dad, he said some, yeah, what about him? I said he tried to steal my bike earlier. He said, all right, you know what to do. If you try to you try to swing on you, you got to fight back. I was like, all right, bet, all right. I already know that, you know what I'm saying? All right, bet. Couple days later, boom, sunshine. Nice to sell outside. Just got out of school and shit. First thing first, get on that motorcycle, ride around, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my doing my daily routine, kind of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My mom said something, she got some tacos for me. I was like, all right, bet. I'm finna, finna go crazy, I'm gonna eat my tacos, then I'm gonna go ride my motorcycle again. So, my dumb ass, what is, I left my motorcycle outside, nigga. I left it outside, like, the garage was, like, open, I think. Like, it was just, it was just right there. Mind you, this nigga lived across the street from me. This nigga was plotting, y'all. He was plotting the whole time. This nigga was spectating all the way in the back. So, me, my awareness, it was, it was bad right there. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So, I guess my mom or dad, one of them said some, yo, get off my son's bike. And I was like, whoa, who the hell? Like, I'm now I'm like, whoa, you're touching my bike? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who, who touched my bike? I thought it was one of my friends or some shit. No, it was this nigga Marcus, man. Oh, my God. This fat motherfucker was on. Oh. <laughs> This nigga, oh my gosh, I wish I could just show you how he was, bro. This nigga was trying to steal my motherfucking bike, bro. This nigga was like trying to lift his fat ass leg over the fucking, over the fucking bike so he can ride off with it. And then my dad, one of them, it was one of them. They said, Marla, come get your bike. He's trying to steal it. I was like, hold on, bro. So I grabbed my bike. I pushed him off and shit. And then I just, oh my gosh. Here's the worst part, bro. So, this nigga said some, I will put my booger on your bike if you don't let me ride it. I was like some, listen, this is why I said, dead ass, hold on. Uh, let me get close to y'all, bro. I said some, if you put your fucking boogers on my bike, I'm gonna go in that house and whoop your ass with a belt, nigga. Simple. This nigga, this, oh man, this nigga did some. Shh. I was like, all right, all right, all right, nigga, nigga, I never ran so fast in my fucking life. I went in my mom's closet, got me one of them, them good belts, nigga. I, I got them, that one belt that had like metal on it, nigga. I was like, I'm going crazy on this, bro. I'm, I'm, hey, 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 like it's the fucking, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? The old days, nigga. So his mom come out talking about some, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, what's going on and shit. I said, I, I wasn't saying like, see, I'm, I'm like kind of exaggerating. I wasn't cussing like that. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't saying nigga and shit. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing all that, but. I said to him, he put his boogers on my bike. She said, oh, I'm so sorry. She started like grabbing this nigga and took him back to the crib. I, bro, nigga, I was so mad because this nigga actually just did some nasty ass shit. He did some. Woo, I'm like, no. Oh my God. So I started cleaning that motherfucker. I see that motherfucker right there. I almost threw up, bro. Almost do up, bro. That shit was the most nastiest shit ever, dude. So, start cleaning the shit. My mom and shit. They started laughing because I, I actually grabbed the belt and started wailing on his ass. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it, bro. Like, dude. If, oh my gosh, I got some crazy ass stories, bro. That shit is, bro. I can ask my mom today, nigga. She still remembers that day. When we literally was bringing this shit up, that's why I'm making this story. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why I'm making this video. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, subscribe to the kid. You know what I'm saying? We at 225, and we out of here. Peace.